of how to drive. They are governed to 3650. We have a final gear ratio that we have set. Tire size is set, so basically they all run pretty much identical like the old IROC series. Paying attention to what's going on, looking ahead of the track, setting up for your next corner. Then we're going to move them up into uh, Minimo Pro, which would step up the air the uh, gear ratio. They pick up to about 30 miles an hour. Right now we're running about 21 on average. To give you an idea, one of these machines for an entire season will burn you about 40 bucks in gas, or oil, and on. So they're very economical, a whole lot of fun. We've got several chassis out here that have three and four seasons on them and haven't done anything to change oil. But gas on them has good old time to be on and run on them. So if you're looking for a good sport to get your kids involved with, boys or girls, doesn't matter, come on out. We'd love to introduce them to boater racing. Let's see, we've got the Minimo Pro Series here. Now we're going to move them up to the Minimo Pro Series. Uh, our lead deck, Steve, he'll come out here and he has a special stand which they put underneath the uh, rear bumper. They'll wrap the motor up, check the RPM. As long as they don't go above 3650, then they're good to go. If they're over 3650, unfortunately, they will be disqualified whether they're first or last. That's all part of this class of racing. They need to be sure that you're at 3650 and they'll mount over. I think Chris has still got some 50 50. I think Amanda's got a handful of tickets left, so if you want to get your last pass of 50 50, Chris is out there. I think turn three, I think I see her. Chris, you out there? There she is. Halfway, halfway, halfway. 10 up, 10 down, halfway. Also notice that the adults that are running, or the kids that are running out here, the adults must be in the center, supervised at all times, so that way we don't have any problems. But so far in four years, knock on wood here, that little stuff we've seen a few minutes ago is the only stuff that we've had in four years. We're trying to give these kids an understanding of how to race before they even get out here on the track. We run them through a little program of understanding brakes, throttle control, steering, avoiding accidents. admire that number two racer. I'm not sure what their name is, but she's got the gangster lean thing going on. She's leaning that head all the way in, trying to get as much body weight on the inside. She's giving all she can give. I'm, I'm sorry, it's a boy. I'm sorry, it's Degan. Degan. I'll get it right, I apologize. As I said earlier, the series is what I speak 
are only of my own. They're not to reflect with the F-Craft. That's my disclaimer. Come on, it's Sammy. What's up, brother? Nice wind you got there, buddy. Blaine? Second place. Are you sure, Sam? I've been told three different names. Uh -oh. <laughs> All I know is whoever it is got that gangster link hanging out to his side. Must have been taking driving lessons from you. He's gonna hit his head on a cone. Doink, doink, doink. He's doing a cone check. Two to go right here. Come on, two to go right here. Two to go, two to go, baby, two to go. Two to go, white right, flag's gotta come down on the leader. You haven't got your 50 50, you better grab There's the white flag. There's the white flag. Grab that 50 50. Uh, Chris is out there at turn three somewhere. There's like uh, probably 20 tickets left over in the teacher's stand. If you haven't got your ticket, go ahead and grab them now. Checker's coming out right there. Come on, folks. Get up for these five kids right here. Alright, well here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna bring it right down here to the start finish line. Come on, folks, give it up right there! 